A lot of people seem to consider art the complete opposite of maths and science. Even though a lot of the STEM subjects require a lot of creativity to be good at them, you can also just straight up make art from maths. This art could take a wide range of forms, of anything from fractals to interactive pieces of physics that play like games. In this video, I will demonstrate the use of Fourier analysis to create this GIF. In particular, we will be using Fourier series. This allows us to make any periodic shape from a whole bunch of different sine waves. I won't go into too much detail on how this works, but I will begin with a demonstration that shows it for a few simple shapes. I'll also put a link to the program in the description. For many simple shapes, you can simply look up the series in a textbook or on the internet. Each successive sine wave that you add to the series gets you closer and closer to the shape that you're looking for. The number in the corner of the screen shows which term of the series that we are currently on. There is usually more than one possible Fourier series for any given function. However, some of them will converge quicker than others. Functions such as the sawtooth wave or the rectangular wave have discontinuities in them. At these points, the Fourier series oscillate quite a bit, and this is known as the Gibbs phenomenon. We begin with the basic code that calculates the Fourier series for a rectangle and then displays it on the screen. The next step is to animate it. This is done by adding a time-dependent angular frequency component to the sine wave. By making the angular frequency omega a constant, we get a steady oscillation in our wave. However, I want my animation to pause on this rectangular sequence. To achieve this, I replace my constant omega with a sigmoid function. A sigmoid function is an S-shaped curve that gives a steady transition from one level to another. Now we can use this to create a more complex and interesting pattern. This step may look a lot different from the previous one, but only two small changes have been made. I repeated the pattern with X and Y switched around to make it more symmetrical. I then applied a couple of transformations equivalent to rotating it 45 degrees clockwise around the center. This is because I wanted the symmetry horizontal. Finally, we're going to add some more visual complexity to this through the use of color. I have once again used sine waves, this time to create psychedelic worms that travel and follow the pattern of the white dots. This makes for a very in-your-face striking visual. You could instead also use more complexity and a more subtle colour scheme. This Fourier series is a relatively simple starting point and allows you to experiment a lot and build upon it. I encourage you to give it a go yourself and share the results. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And follow me on Tumblr and Twitter for news and behind the scenes information.